Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing latest Java CSG questions that were asked today in Cognizant. So these questions were asked today, that is on 8th October 2023. So in this video, I will be discussing one question and more such questions I will be discussing in further videos. So make sure that you are present on my channel. In this video, the question name that I will be discussing it is get sequence sum. It is slightly on the easier side, but in coming videos, more of the advanced questions that were asked today, I will be discussing in detail. And guys, if you want to prepare for this particular exam, so I have lot of videos already present on my channel with the playlist as Cognizant Assimilation slash CSG test question, wherein I have discussed Java as well as SQL coding questions. So make sure that if you are preparing for CSG exam, you do check out this playlist also. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel so that you can get the update of the latest videos that I will be uploading on this channel. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, first of all, I will be discussing the question. Then I will be discussing the approach of this question. And finally, I will be showing you the code of this particular question, how to write in the exam. Okay, so the question here is given three integers, i, j and k, a sequence sum to be the value of i, i plus 1, i plus 2, i plus 3 till j, then j minus 1, j minus 2, j minus 3 plus k. So this is a sequence sum that you will have to find. You will be given three variables i, j and k and you will have to find the sequence sum in this manner and it is always given that i will be less than j and j uh, and k will also be less than j. Okay, so what you do? Increment from i until it is equal to j then decrement from j until it, it is equal to k. Given values of i, j and k, calculate the sequence sum as described. So if question is not clear to you, let's just quickly move towards the example. It will be more clear. So we are given i, j and k. So as I have told you that <clears throat> again, i will always be smaller than j and k will also be smaller than j. Okay. So what you have to do? You will have to find the sum of all the sequence and how we will find the sum of all the sequence. First of all, what will you will do? You will add all the numbers that are coming from i to j by incrementing by 1. That is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these 5 numbers you will add. See this 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. So this sequ uh, sequence from i to j you will add. Okay. So this is the first step. Next step is what you will do now. You will start decrementing j by 1 every time and till it reaches k. Okay. So now you will start decrementing j till it reaches the k. So how we will decrement j? So it will be 8, 7 and 6. So 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 was the first sequence from i to j. And next sequence when we start decrementing the j for reaching the k, it will be 8 plus 7 plus 6. Okay. So just note one thing here. This j is common in both the sequence that is from reaching from i to j or from j to k. So make sure that you are only including this j in only one sequence. Either you can include it with i or you can include it with j or you can include it with k. But make sure that only one time this j has been included. Because if you will consider this j two times, then result will change. Okay. So from i 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. So this sequence we have one sequence we have and next sequence is uh, we will start decrementing j. 8 plus 7 plus 6. So this is. So when we will do total of this, what we will get? We will get answer as 56. So I hope now the question is clear to you. It is very simple. I will be less than j and k will also be less than j. First sequence will be from reaching i to j by incrementing one step and i and j inclusive. Next sequence will be from decrementing j till it reaches k and here j will not be inclusive. Only k will be inclusive. Okay, so I hope this question is clear to you. Now, let's just quickly move towards the approach. It's very simple. Okay, so let's just now move towards the approach of this particular question. So approach is very simple. We for continuous sum range, we already have a formula in maths. So in childhood, we have studied this formula. So this we will be using in this particular code. So for continuous sum range, okay, from one number to another number in continuous series, if we have to find the sum, then there is a predefined formula that is given. So what is that predefined formula? Num1, that is the number from which that 
sum is starting num2 that is the number at which that sequence is ending then into okay num1 plus num2 okay then into the number of elements total number of elements that are there in between those starting and ending points inclusive of num1 and num2 initially okay inclusive of num1 and num2 and then dividing this entire multiplication by 2 so this will give you the result of a continuous sum range okay so let's just now quickly test it with our sample input so for i to j okay for first sequence i to j i and j are inclusive what we'll do we will start incrementing i till it reaches j and here i and j are inclusive then this sum will be using the above formula num1 will be here become i num2 will here become j and number of elements will be if you will look clearly it will be j minus i plus 1 how it will be j minus i plus 1 so from i to j if you will simply subtract uh, i from j it will be 4 but if you will look closely the elements are 5 so 5 6 7 8 and 9 so 5 elements are there therefore this is j minus i plus 1 okay so when we will do this particular calculation it will give us 14 i plus j is 14 j minus i plus 1 is 5 so 14 into 5 is 70 70 divided by 2 is 35 so answer to our first sequence is 35 i hope this thing is clear to you now we are moving towards the next sequence that is from j to k what we will do we will start decrementing j till it reaches k but one thing is to be noted that in this case j is not inclusive only k is inclusive okay so now again we will be using the same formula only because see 8 7 and 6 so this is also continuous sequence only okay this is also continuous sequence only so here also what we will do our num1 will be j okay num2 will be k this is the starting and ending element but we are doing minus 1 also because i have told you j is not inclusive so our sequence will now not start with j that is 9 it will start from 8 so therefore j minus 1 and then first number is j minus 1 and num2 is k so therefore this is like this into the number of elements now how many number of elements are there from j to k from j to k how many elements are there there are three elements only if you will look closely so simply j minus k since 8 6 and 7 three elements are there but we are doing we are simply doing j minus k sorry here it should be j minus k because j uh, k is smaller than j so j minus k and once we will do this entire multiplication we will simply divide it by 2 so let's just see what our calculation looks like so j plus k minus 1 gives us 14 and j minus k gives us 3 and 14 into 3 divided by 2 gives us 21 and our final answer will be this a plus b that is 56 and this is our required output so if you will look closely this is our required output so i hope now the quotient and approach are clear to you and uh, we will now quickly move towards the coding part and if you are finding this video helpful and want more such videos then do hit the like and subscribe button for this channel and do comment down that yes you want more such videos okay so now let's just quickly move towards the coding part okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code so this is the function that you will have to implement there will be three inputs that is i j and k what you will do you will find the a1 you will find the b1 and you will simply return the sum of sequence 1 and sequence 2 how you will find the sum of sequence 1 as i have already told you this we have the, we have a simple formula that is num1 plus num2 into the number of elements and total divided by 2 so this is the formula i have clearly explained in the approach section so how we have reached in this a and now how we have reached this sequence b also i have told you one thing to note here is very simple mistake you will do that you will include this j in both of these sequence that will be wrong j will only be included in one of the sequence it is up to you either you have to include it in a or you will have to include it in b in my case i have included it in the a okay so in the end when you will get two results you will simply return a plus b and this is all for your code and it is this simple so i know this is very simple and today the questions were asked on a different level so <coughs> timely tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will keep on uploading the videos with some advanced level questions sql and java both i will be uploading so be on the channel do subscribe the channel and if you have these exams in coming days do share it with your friends also and watch this playlist all the links you will find in the description box so thank you for watching this video